ye mountains high, where the clear blue sky arches over the vales of the free, where the pure breezes blow and the clear streamlets flow, how I've longed to your bosom to flee, O oh, Zion. This is Ben McClintock and Enoch Moore of DefendingUtah.org, where we think right and wrong, not right and left. Don't forget to subscribe to the Defending Utah YouTube channel. You can also find us on Spreaker, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Liberty Lineup. This is the Naked Truth. This is where we think right and wrong. Not right and left. I am Ben McClintock of DefendingUtah.org. We hope that you'll subscribe to Defending Utah's YouTube channel. Just go to uh, YouTube.com and search for Defending Utah to get our updates and uh, different presentations that we've given. We uh, did an interview uh, that we just posted recently that I think that everybody will like at, about Utah's secret society. So just go to uh, YouTube.com and search Defending Utah and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. Um, also want to make sure that uh, you are mention our sponsor. This is Medical Cost Share, and uh, it's better than insurance. I know that uh, Sherilyn has it and that Enoch has it, and it's something that uh, can get us to basically do a personal nullification of Obamacare without uh, the penalties. So hopefully you'll check out our, our sponsor there at medicalcostshare.com. And we've also got our, uh, right now, we want to welcome our guest, via telephone, Shauna Cox. And if you don't, for our listeners, I don't know why you don't know who Shauna Cox is, but if you don't for some reason, Shauna Cox was in the vehicle when Lavoie was uh, assassinated, murdered by state and federal agents. And it's because of her video that we have a little bit more information than what was in the uh, edited version that was sent out by the, the drone video by the feds. Shauna. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. You guys do such a wonderful job on your uh, program, bringing people to the truth. I think it's, it's phenomenal. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for everything that you're doing. We appreciate you. I wanted to ask a question. I don't know if it's been out there, but I've heard, you can, you can debunk this or confirm this, that the video from your phone that's been released has been edited. Is that true or false? I don't know that for a fact. It isn't from my phone. It's actually from my digital camera. Oh, okay. I had, it was a camera, and so until I receive that disc back, I can't tell you. But but being inside, I I like I said, it was above my head, so I can't really tell for sure. Right, and um, I'm sure it was happening so fast. It's like, oh man, you can't remember right. everything. I don't think mine was edited. Okay, to tell you the truth, but I think that um, theirs was. <laughs> but that, obviously, theirs was. I've talked to officers that. Uh, Mentioned that as well, that uh, it's clearly been edited. So I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this, but uh, I understand, and Sherilyn arranged this uh, for us, that you've got some updates to share with everybody. Well, yes, we are, we are in a process of, um, well, I don't know what people know exactly, but a couple of weeks ago I did come back to um, Portland, and I was able to have my ankle bracelet removed. Wow, that's got to be pretty, also, pretty comfortable. What? Does that feel a lot better now? Oh, by far, I'm telling <laughs> you, it was it was terrible. Mostly really making me book. it was it was all kinds of terrible health issues I felt with that. Um, and I think it's a criminal that they put things on on a person. It's like that. It's uh, treat you like an oh, animal. it's crazy. Well, you had to um, pay. You had to pay for it too, Shauna. Yeah, I had to pay for it. That that even burns me more. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay pay to have them chain me up. So I remember um, that you said that you were you a while back you you had a gag order that's been lifted partially completely. Uh, right, it was lifted. They can't really stop me from talking. My, my here's what I did. I actually went from um, having an attorney to making. The attorney co-counsel. I am on. I'm pro se now, so I'm my own attorney, and I can say whatever I want to. The problem is, if it hurts our case, and so that's all I'm trying to say is, 
There's just certain things I know that I can't talk it's about. It's still smart to be careful. Well, right. the case purposes, that's all. Oh. Well, they can um, twist it because they'll take anything just like they did with Dave Bundy. They're taking a Facebook post that somebody else made and using it against him. So we've, yeah, we've definitely got to be careful. Yeah, that's scary because if people put things out on on the Internet and Facebook especially, you know, anybody can say anything, and yet they're going to allow that as, a, a, you know, admissible evidence into a courtroom. That's well, all hearsay. How do you know who did it? Exactly. We, we also know the FBI has the privilege of being able to make up stuff at this point. The key witness against Pete Santilli testified that he was in Burns, Oregon on December 22nd, and he wasn't. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of that false statement. You bet. But they're going to have to prove that in court. Right. And we're hoping, we're hoping and praying, and we want everybody's prayers, that we're able to uh, make our case strong enough that we don't have to, um, We actually, we don't want to get to court because it's a frivolous nonsense that makes us, um, well, that that sets us up so that they can use such stuff. It's not about, it's not about um, truth and, and equity or, or justice. There's no, it's, you know, we want truth. We're, we're to find out the truth. Well, they don't really want to find the truth. That's the problem. So right. we're trying to expose the truth, and that's, that's the big problem. So that's our biggest issue is uh, trying to bring to light the corruption that's in this. Those hidden things of darkness. So, um, so you've got so the you've got your ankle bracelet removed, and um, you're acting partially as your own attorney. How is that working out? What made, what led you to do to make that decision? When I realized that they really aren't on my side, the attorneys they can't serve two masters. They can't serve me and defend me and still defend uh, the prosecutors and the judge and everybody else. They can't defend the court because you had a public me. defender. You know, that's what God said, you know. Right. You can't serve two masters. And you, and so you had a public defender. Is that what I'm understanding? I did have a public defender. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so... They're not usually a public defender, but in the capacity that we had so many um, people incarcerated, they pulled them out of, pri- out of the private sector. Gotcha. So we want to have, if anybody has a, a question for Shauna Cox, give us a call, 801-254-5855, and ask your questions for, for Shauna. But um, so I know you've got, oh, you're doing pro se, and we have, isn't Ryan Bundy the another defendant that's going pro se as well? He is. He, he's been pro se for a while. And I think um, Jason Patrick has gone pro se and they hate that when you do it. Let's see. I think. Do we have one more? Uh, yeah. Um, Dwayne. No, not Dwayne. It's uh, Ken Menenbach is pro se. Yeah. So okay. there's four at this time. So what's the latest? But it's okay because we have great people. Well, I have great people behind me. Phenomenal people uh, that are helping with this information mm-hmm. and and so if everybody has eyes and ears this is not about Shauna this is not about Bundy this is about America and mm-hmm. so if, as people step up to the plate with the things that they know or evidences that they have then this is their time to um, share that this is this is bringing to light America right we, we have to save our Constitution. I heard through the grapevine, Shauna, that one of the callers that... doesn't happen to anyone else, sorry. One of the callers that calls Oregon all the time actually got through to Billy Williams yesterday. Awesome. Billy Williams was a little frustrated because the call screeners at the front desk aren't supposed to let anybody that supports the Oregon protesters into his office. But this certain... uh, Through the grapevine, I heard this man got through... And uh, he had it out with Billy Williams. That's awesome. Wow. That is kind of cool. That is that's yeah, these yeah, small victories. The staff would probably yeah, got fired. <laughs> I know when I call when I call the office, I you know I I ask the hired help, 
why they like working for the mob. <laughs> Does their conscience bother them? <laughs> How job. in the world can somebody <laughs> prepare for a defense if they're not allowed out of jail? If they're not allowed access to a law library or the internet or privacy, you can't. These men have been kidnapped because they were exposing the works of darkness. A renaissance was happening. That's why Lavoie was gunned down. And the government's and the government media complex is keeping most Americans in the dark, but not everybody, Shauna. We're, we're, ha- we're happy for those of you that will tell the truth. That's yeah. what we look for, truth. Guys, we have to find the truth. And I was I was watching a video from Michelle Fiore in Nevada on Newsmax. Everybody needs to go and watch that on Newsmax TV. We'll play that after the break. Okay. Oh, that's this is epic. This is huge. It's, it is. It's it's huge. So, but I just wanted to make sure that that you, Shauna, had. What were some of the uh, all? We want to make sure and get all of the the new things that you wanted to let everybody know about. So, just kind of tell us of all the updates. Well, I, I'm a little bit nervous about doing that quite yet, just because okay. we are looking for, trying to get us in to uh, get the jury seated, and we will do jury uh, selections probably about September 7th. Okay. And so we don't know, yeah, they, and they told me I can't participate in picking the jury. So there are <laughs> things are... Uh, <laughs> I thought you could yeah. have a jury of your peers. Right. What happened to the jury of your peers? Exactly. This is this is part of the fight we're fighting, and we have to call them on the carpet every day to make sure that they're following the law, right. and they're definitely not. And no. they're so sneaky and sly. They're they're sneaking all kinds of things in. If they were and following the law, you wouldn't be there. To, we have to be vigilant. Sorry. Yeah. No, we do have to be vigilant. So, what do you want our listeners to know? We want them to know that we appreciate them and we can feel your prayers. We know that this is the fight between good and evil and that we have to continue to uh, stay steady and strong and um, do what he's telling us to do. So please, please listen to your heart, listen to the Spirit, and keep the prayers coming because that's the way we win. We have to... Uh, we, we see the miracles and... and I'm going to write about those miracles in my book when I get finished here, because it is it's phenomenal. So how can our listeners, what, what can our listeners do? What is there somewhere they can donate to help out? Is there somewhere they can maybe do crowdsourcing of information? What would you like well, them to do? We were doing, we were asking for, you know what, right now, um, we were asking for some more help. I hadn't actually asked for help before, mm-hmm. because I didn't know that, you know, I didn't know I was going to do it quite like this, and I thought we, we would be okay. But with the with all the litigation and things that are happening um, and all the traveling back and forth, and we need a little bit and on the, and the filing fees and stuff that they're soaking me with. Right. Then we need to have a little bit of um, help. But So what they told me was that, that on your show and there it would be uh, – they were going to set up a fund for us, and I don't. And I, you guys, I don't know how they do that. Okay. And I haven't got anything on the website, but. Uh, I'm so sure yes, Sherilyn, when she gets back, some, will. If people can share a little bit. We would be very grateful. Yeah. So just stay tuned on the Liberty Lineup, uh, a website and our Facebook page. Um, we will make sure. So make sure everybody likes our Liberty Lineup Facebook page. We'll have the updates for that to help out um, Sean and the other patriots in their efforts to be able to fight the government and their illegal actions. That's an important thing for us all to be involved in. And hopefully, you know, I think it's very helpful to people to be able to, we have a link on our website as well, of all the uh, um, different patriots that are in prison right now and how to write to them. Because I think the government, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, Shauna, is trying to make these guys feel like they've been abandoned and that nobody cares about them and their cause, and that they should just plead guilty and give up. And that oh, that's the truth. That's what's scary is because they're getting them to plea out. Right. And they have they isolate them, and then they keep them into a, a box where you're right. They, and that's all they do is they feed them a fear because if you don't do this and this, and they have to do it by such and such a date, you are going to be here for the rest of your life, kind of situation. And that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. And so I think it's important, and I'm, uh, 
they appreciate the letters from people knowing so that they can feel your support and know that there's people out there backing them up and doing what we can on the outside to, to help them out and whether it's through moral support or through financial support whatever it is that they know that we're there backing them yes we do i i mean i appreciate that you guys the letters when it keep them coming they don't you know, always get through but um most of the time they do there should be a, a website you can go to the, either the bundy website or you can go to um I, I can't remember the name. Uh, of I know at LibertyLineup.org, uh, org, we've got it there as well. We've got that information. Oh, perfect, do it so, there. Yeah. I know Jared uh, here. He's had um, some experience of having your letters sent back to you. Oh, I don't even know if any of mine get through. They they uh, they hate the guys in jail, and they don't they don't like my letters. I know they read them. They they do open them. They will check your mail and see if there's anything in there that shouldn't be there. So. I truthfully don't know if any of my letters have gotten through. Well, I know well, you've gotten some sent back to you, and they said that there was some, like the envelope violated a rule. I've gotten four of the six sent back. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's terrible. Well, some of them are getting keep through. Keep trying. Keep trying because they, they, everything they get makes them feel that much better. I'm telling you, I, have, I really appreciate people who sent the letters. It really makes my day. I, I'm sorry that I can't answer them all. I try to get to them, yeah. but there's just but and it's wonderful. But let me tell you, it makes a difference. So don't give it don't give it up. Sh- it Shana, really has a network a of support in Oregon been set up for these guys? Do people come and visit them often? I, I'm sorry, I missed that part. What? Are there any locals in Oregon that are supporting these? prisoners with visits and money on their books and letters and marching around well, the jail we have like been some. yes we have a group that comes here every almost every day you know two three times in the week and they are out with their signs in front of the uh, federal buildings in front of the jails and it it's really amazing um the wonderful support that they've been trying to give to keep people's awareness Gotcha. And so we're happy for that. So we're speaking with Shunna Cox. She was in the car um, when Lavoy Finnegan was murdered by state and federal agents. We'll have more from her after the break. We have got some callers that have some questions for you, Shauna. Hopefully you're staying dry. I know you've got some floods down there in southern Utah. And I've also wanted to bring up some yeah, things that, <laughs> that are unrelated I'm actually to actually in Portland. <laughs> oh, oh, you're in Portland right now. I've also got some questions for you, some things you've done in the past that we've talked about, and uh, we'll talk about that when we get back from the break. This has been McClintock of uh, DefendingUtah.org. We're on the the line with Shauna Cox. More right after the break. Complete transmission to the NSA. Suspending your rights for the duration of the permanent war. NSA is listening. Hopefully, they'll repent for what they're doing. Um, this is the permanent war. We, uh, I am Ben McClintock of DefendingUtah.org. This is the Liberty Lineup Radio Show, the Thursday edition. This is where we think right and wrong, not right and left. On the phone, we are joined with, uh, joined by Shauna Cox. She was there with the Bundy. She was there with Lavoy when he was murdered by the state and federal agents. And we're talking about uh, some of the updates that are going on. You've got your ankle bracelet uh, removed. And, uh, That's you're, correct, yeah. You're, you're up in Oregon. What are you doing up in Oregon? I had a Corey hair, and today I'm getting my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> As we speak. No, I, we're up here. Uh, I have trials and hearings that are going on right now. And so I'm really working hard trying to get... Um, all these filings and motions in before our pretrial is up. Great. We're, we're coming down to the deadline, and they start slamming us with the stuff we have to refute. So, um, yeah, we're, we're really uh, working gotcha. hard. Shauna, like 24-7. Oh. Are there any sympathetic police officers up in Oregon that come to you on the side and express their sympathies? Um, you know what? We're, we're winning hearts, is all I can say. I, I think when people see the truth, that they begin to uh, understand a little bit better because most of the people here in, in uh, this urban place is 
kind of um, asleep at the wheel. Mm -hmm. I don't think they understand the magnitude of things that are happening. Portland's a real liberal place. Portland, very, at, very Port much so. When the when yeah. the weirdos couldn't afford California, they moved to Portland. They moved to Portland. We've got hey Shauna, we've got some callers. We've got uh, we've got some callers that have a question. We've got Arkansas Dave. You're on with Ben and Shauna. Yeah, uh, good good morning. Uh, now I'm not not uh, LDS, but uh, it seems to me that the people on both sides of this issue are LDS. Has, has the church ever made contact or tried to negotiate anything or tried to bring this to a reasonable conclusion or? Just you know what? It has never been an, a church issue. That's why I think people kind of get that confused. No, um, they have not because they cannot or will not at this point, I'm sure. Um, not because they don't believe in freedom. I know that they do. That's what we believe. That's what we're taught. Uh, but it's, this is a worldwide church. I, I'm not making excuses. I'm saying that God loves every every person and um, has, has us, we have agency, and he can't tell us what to do, but we have already been instructed, we've already been told we have to stand up for what's right, so an individual has to decide that for themselves. How far are you willing to go, and what are you going to do? That's our agency that we came here to life before, you yeah. know? Yeah, but but uh, it seems like Harry Reid, uh, uh, he has really crossed the line. Uh, with, the, with the original thing that was going on down in Arizona, he was trying to confiscate that land and give it to his son. So it, uh, the way I heard the story, so, so his son could put up solar panels. Uh, and, and that was in Nevada, off. and yes, yes, that is true. Uh, but, but has anyone requested the church, uh, like, excommunicate Harry Reid, or is it just... Well, it, you know... Um, I've talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, it, what would it take, Ben? Three complaints? Well, from his local. So it's something that you can the way that, that that church um, discipline works is it starts, it, it has to originate with the uh, the local leaders. And so it would have to be some people from his local stake that uh, complain to his local leaders, and then they would go through it that way. So it's, it doesn't really come down from the from the top. I don't think Harry Reid goes to church anyway, so how how would they ever get a hold of him? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, I sure I don't sometimes, somewhere. somewhere. So. I know he does, but um, I, and I'm not. Really Thanks for your call, people, Dave. Appreciate you calling. But facts speak for themselves. Yeah, thank you, Dave. So if you've got more questions, you can call us at eight zero one two five four five eight five five. This is the Liberty Lineup. This has been the Clintock of DefendingUtah dot org. On the line, we have Shauna Cox talking about some things that are going on. I wanted to play Shauna um, this uh, video from Michelle Fiore from Las, from Nevada, and oh, uh, get great. your comments I to on hear that. that. Have you heard that yet? No. Oh, great. I so. heard about it this morning, but I didn't. I haven't heard it. Okay, we're going to play this. And normally Enoch does the board, and so I'm going to see how well I can do today. Yeah. Newsmax TV. Hello, I'm Assemblywoman Michelle Fiore. Thank you for tuning in to this very important information. The information I'm about to share with you is on the authority from unnamed official sources. These sources are my personal sources, which include a few selected elected peers, elected officials, judges, sitting FBI agents, as well as a handful of my personal Las Vegas Metro Police friends. One of the lead FBI agents working with the prosecutor in the Bundy case revealed their plans to my unnamed official source Friday, July 29, 2016. According to the FBI agent, the FBI doesn't have anything on the Bundys. They don't have an actual evidence to prosecute the Bundys or anyone here in Nevada for the Bundy family standing up and defending their livelihood. The main reason the judge has sealed the evidence is because there is none. The only evidence they have is Facebook. This is the Nevada Facebook case and there is no actual evidence of a crime committed here in Nevada. The FBI's strategic plan is to drag the trial out as long as possible so they can work on breaking the cowboy spirits, forcing them to take a deal and agree to a plea bargain. Unfortunately, the sad truth is, our American homemade FBI agency is actually terrorizing these American patriots with lies and threatening them by trying to make them believe they'll serve 100 plus years in prison. One of the agents told Joe O'Shaughnessy that unless he cooperates with them, he'll never see his 80-year-old mother alive again. 
There are a couple of men that stood with the Bundys that are incarcerated that actually have something in their past, but don't we all? However, the actions of the FBI are coercing the cowboy prisoners to flip and actually make lies up to turn on the Bundys with promises of getting their personal situation situated. The FBI is arresting more people and putting pressure on them to make them flip on the Bundys. Unfortunately, I've seen it all too often. Human nature forces one to say what the threatening agents want to hear to save their own skin. These suppressive agents make people believe they're in trouble, meanwhile they're not in trouble. However, when you have an authoritarian agent terrorizing you and trained to do so, one can become traumatized and cooperate believing that's the only way out. All this so a few evil men can save face. And shamefully, our judicial system here in Nevada is backing this corrupt case up. Let's recap. The FBI has no actual evidence. They're holding American cowboys hostage in jails, hoping to break them into submission. They've sealed evidence from the press and the American people. They are frightening innocent men to take plea bargains and coercing them, the men with flawed records to turn on their fellow Americans with lies. They're using these men's family as their bargaining chip. Now let me ask you, if you were taken from your family, incarcerated for more than six months, not able to go to work to buy food for your family or pay the rent or mortgage, your wife and children are now homeless, would you take a bargain just to get out to fix your family that the government has broken? I can't blame good men for breaking because their wives, children, and parents need them. Most of these men are the head of their household. And what many people don't understand is that when a family member is incarcerated, it's truly a shared sentence. Where did our ethics go in our justice system? Can the judge empathize? What if this was him or her or one of their family members? How have so many become calloused when it comes to your neighbor's freedom? What most Americans don't realize is our prison facilities are mostly private corporations. It's a billion dollar industry and they write elected officials, judges, and the heads of police departments big checks to fill their prisons. Tune in for our next message on NewsmaxTV.Vegas for the facts on prisons for profit. Okay, so Shauna, you said that's the first time that you've heard that. What that's are your thoughts? the first time I've heard it. Uh, but she is absolutely right. I am so... You know, I, I went into court and watched as one of these men pleaded out, and my heart was totally broken. Because when they asked, uh, the judge says, you know, are you pleading guilty to the count one? And it was hard for him to even say it. Uh, he left a couple of questions, but he had to. He, he actually made the statement that said, it's better that I take this offer than to spend the rest of my life in jail. And so he knew what he was saying was not true, but he had he felt like he had to so do it. For him to even say he was guilty was to take him this guilty plea. It was very hard for him to say that, but he knew it was a difference between fifteen years to uh, a life. And they that's the option that they told him the only thing they had left. And anyway, it just broke my heart. I could I, I couldn't I can't stand it. I just know that we have to help them, and we have to get this out. Yeah. And that's the interesting thing that she brought out was that there are no actual charges or no actual laws that they can convict them on, and they know it, and so they're trying to trick them into pleading guilty. So this is uh, – got Shauna Cox on the line. We've got uh, a caller. Ed, you're on the line with Ben and Shauna. Yes, uh, very good interview today. I feel real bad for everything going on with you, Shauna. Um, I just wanted to put a couple things out there uh, concerning uh, some of the other sources that are backing you and everything that's been going on, of course, up there uh, at the Mallar Refuge, uh, Wildlife Refuge. And uh, he had information that, um, to the effect that they were actually given the keys and lured. Uh, there was no, that, that's why there was no armed standoff like the controlled media portrayed. And uh, so people need to... Um, uh, get the reportage from people like Tim LaCavero, resurrect the Republic. Uh, he's, he's done some amazing coverage on the whole thing with uh, regarding your situation, um, Shauna, and, um, and the other people that uh, were targeted. These people were targeted for removal, removal from their land uh, by the likes of uh, Harry Reid, but many others. And uh, so we'll see how this is going to shake down. One last thing, Range Magazine, uh, I don't know if they cited you in there, but the uh, woman from who works with that assemblywoman that you just broadcast here, 
Uh, she runs a, the uh, Cowboy and Rancher magazine, the, the, the main one left in the country, Range Magazine, and they did a big story, and they're going to be doing more on the land grabs and the Bundy and Hammond situation. Great. Thank you for the call. We have done a great job, and I also have to say that um, we appreciate the good reporters that put out the truth. That That's what keeps us America on the right path. We have to, like I said, we only want the truth, and the truth is, who owns, the question was, who owns the land, okay? And, and if we don't um, make this jurisdiction argument, which they want to shove under the rug, by the way, that's what they're fighting to keep out of the court, is that they can't, that we can't bring in jurisdiction. We have to make that stand because what happens is then they go back and they attack another and another and another, right. and it never ends. And the Hammonds, are, I don't, you know, we have to remember that the reason we went there was to protect the Hammond family. And exactly. that's really, really important because of the persecutions, and they're still persecuting, not just them, but more. And it will keep coming until we stand up and say there's not going to be any more. So America has to wake up and say, okay, we've had enough, and we're not letting it happen to any more of it. You can't let them go down. One at a time is how they take them. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to scare us into um, silence, and we need to say, no, we're not going to be scared into silence. The more that you tighten your grip on us, the more we're going to fight back, and you're not going to be able to stop this. Uh, we've been well, speaking. What I what I really think is a, a amazing thing is we've that got like ten seconds. The whole world's watching to see if we're going to do this by bloodshed, or if we're going to be able to make the Constitution and do it in in a peaceful manner. Absolutely. I don't know how that's going to play out, right. but I do know this that we cannot do it unless we stand together, and we can't do it without the help of God. So if we Absolutely. aren't repenting... Shauna, I need to let you go. I'm sorry. I, I've got to cut you off. We're going to do a break. Okay. We've been speaking with Shauna Cox. This has been McClintock of DefendingUtah.org. This is the Liberty Lineup, the Naked Truth segment, where we think right and wrong, not right and left. Shauna, I'm sorry we, we had to cut you off there. Hopefully next time we can talk about it. There's a, some interesting things that have been going on down there. And we want to get back to you on that. Uh, but thanks for being on today. Okay, well, thank you, guys. Have a good day. You too. This has been Ben McClintock and Enoch Moore of DefendingUtah.org. Make sure to subscribe to the Defending Utah YouTube channel. And also, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Gordon's Carpet Cleaning. If you want the job done right, call Gordon's Carpet Cleaning, 801-368-0140. That's 801 368 we also want to let you know about the editor lady. She will help you publish your book or do any editing for a price you won't believe. Give the editor lady a call at 801-948-3667. That's 801-948-3667. Or email her at theeditorlady at gmail.com. We all know that we need to get prepared for job loss, disasters, and just plain life. You need to go to emergencyseedbank.com. That's emergencyseedbank.com. Enter coupon code defend.ut to get your deep discount on Urban Emergency Seed Bank of 23 varieties of non-hybrid, non-GMO seeds, double hermetically sealed in mylar for seeds that last for decades. emergencyseedbank.com. Coupon code defend.ut.